The most interesting thing about sailing on this ship is there's always some new thing to investigate or some new problem to help surmount. There's always new people to meet. The scientists are universally a very smart bunch of people and they're always interesting because it's an international group. It's a people watcher's paradise. Core on deck, core on deck. When spending about four months each year at sea, you essentially live two lives. The life for a technician working for the International Ocean Discovery Program on board the drill ship Joides Resolution involves hard hats, safety glasses, and the willingness to get pretty grubby. Call me a mud monkey for nothing. Without technicians on board to keep instruments running, data organized, samples archived, and scientists productive, this respected scientific drilling program could not have been as successful. I feel that we have a, a very important role in that, this program because it's carried on for so many years. We're sort of the stewards and carry on this legacy of quality science so that you can compare something now to something from a decade ago or two decades or three uh, because the same types of processes are being used. That's something that you're not going to see in any science program. You know, we even document it in our books of you know, those who've come before us. And I like that feeling that there's a real history here. We have to really pull together and really work as a team being isolated out here and troubleshooting problems. Being on a ship with people for 60 days, you become a lot closer to those people uh, than you would in a normal work environment. Many technicians have science backgrounds, but to fit into these seagoing roles, ideally the individual should be consistent, malleable, observant, flexible. Have to go with the flow. And have a good sense of humor about things. Because when you're this close with everybody, you're going to rub shoulders. You're going to rub somebody wrong. So I started in 1977. Our only computing device was essentially a programmable calculator that had the little magnetic strips. So now we have Facebook and email. I started as a storekeeper, which is the person who does all the paperwork, getting things on and off the ship. Tim Bronk is now an assistant lab officer, but the various hats worn during his 60-plus expeditions put him in Fin Section Lab, Formation Microscan Operator, in the Downhole Tools Lab, and the Chemistry Lab. All the science out here is interesting because it all goes together. I, th I like that part of seeing each data set come in and then seeing how it all fits into one piece and tells a story. <laughs> the hardest part is waking up to an alarm clock every single day <laughs> for the same schedule every single day. It's not all science all the time. There's special days to celebrate, morale to boost, music to play. My cat loves that one because it's like a high pitch, so she like rubbing it. Anything to keep people on an even keel. You gotta be careful about this food, you know. Three seconds left. Come on, three. To the gym. And fit in your pants when you leave. I love birthdays out here. It's almost like being a kid again. Everybody signs a card. Everybody comes and has cake and sings you happy birthday. Turned 50 years old out here. I've done the math, but some, I can't be 50. The presence I got was a remote control inflatable shark. And I think that was the most fun anybody's had out here in a while. Well, the hardest part is being away from home when something happens back there and people need you. And you're here. We go all over the world. I don't know how many countries I've been to. 30, 40 countries and you know, not, not many jobs let you do that. When you're at home, how often do you see a sunrise? Out here you can see two months worth of sunrises. There's just something about the day beginning with the sunrise and the sun sets, everything kind of either mellows out or gets crazy.